Hi everyone, Tao here. So over the past few years, Samsung has continued to build up GoodLog, which basically takes customizing your Galaxy smartphones to a whole nother level. The most recent addition to the GoodLog family is called Home Up. The quirky name aside, it's actually a really nice addition. Let's take a look at what Home Up can actually do. The first time you open Home Up, you'll be greeted with three main menus and you'll obviously want to toggle it on to get started. Starting with the home screen. Inside here, you'll be given some more options to customize the One UI launcher beyond what's normally possible. By default, you only have four options when it comes to the home screen and app screen grid sizes. 4x5, 4x6, 5x5, or 5x6. Home Up gives you the ability to do 4x4 or 7x7 and everything in between. Going with a 7x7 grid size does make everything really small, but I do appreciate the extra space it creates for more apps and widgets. It doesn't change the number of apps you can fit on the dock, unfortunately. On my S20 Ultra, the icons on the dock didn't resize, but on my Note 10 Plus, it did. The difference in icon sizes really throws you off. They'll probably have to fix this with an update. Background blur control allows you to control the amount that your wallpaper blurs when you open the app drawer. The diagram at the top shows this off pretty good. There's an interesting note at the bottom here where it says set to 0% to improve device performance. I guess for older devices, this could be a way to speed things up by a tiny bit. Next up, we have a toggle for loop pages. I personally like to organize my app drawer into folders so that I can find things quicker. But if you don't, this might come in handy. The app drawer on Samsung devices actually scrolls to the side instead of up and down. Toggling this on lets you keep scrolling the pages as a continuous loop rather than reaching the end and having the scroll backwards. Hiding the app label does exactly what it sounds like and removes the text underneath app icons. So if you're going for a cleaner, more minimalistic look, this gets you closer to that without the need for a third party launcher. Moving on to the folder customization. Toggling on the pop-up folder setting changes the look of your folders from this to this. I definitely prefer the pop-up folder. It makes content easier to reach since it opens up right where the folder is. Sort of like what you get on the Pixel Launcher. What I don't love is the animation. It's smooth, but it just seems to run a little too long and slow. Hopefully they speed this up a bit. Tapping on the text will open up some deeper customization like font color, background color, background transparency, and most interesting, background corners. To use the other two options, you'll have to disable the pop-up folder as it will only customize the default folder layout. Folder title suggestion will give you suggestions for folder names. Folder grid lets you customize the exact grid size of your folders from the icon to the folder screen itself. The last menu is Backup and Restore. What this does is automatically create a backup of your home screen layout every hour or every day. If you don't want it to automatically create backups, you can just enable it and hit this immediate button to save your current layout and then just toggle it off. That's essentially what you're getting with Home Up. The highlights for me are definitely the pop-up folders and additional grid sizes. Hopefully they keep adding to Home Up, making the One UI launcher more flexible. A third-party launcher like Nova Launcher still offers way more options, but this closes the gap a little bit. As usual, thank you all so much for watching. Until the next one, I'm out of here.